Hi, Ed and Sherry. I'm at the house on Gecko in Fountain Hills. Um, it's in the subdivision that, I don't know if we've actually seen anything in this subdivision, but it's a really nice. It's Shadow Canyon. It's beautiful. I've seen another house in here, um, and it's gated. We've driven by it several times. It's just one of the nicest subdivisions in Fountain Hills. Um, this house has a ton of storage. This is the coat closet. It's kind of everything is sort of oversized and um, huge. Um, this is the suite that's like the guest suite. Um, and all of the bedrooms have patios. This has a covered patio um, with the view out there. Um, nice. I mean, there's just windows and view everywhere. Um, has a big bathroom. And then a stand-up shower. Um, there is carpet in the bathroom. There's carpet in a lot of the bathrooms. I'm not sure how you feel about that. I don't love it. Um, so you might want to just, I don't know. But look, there is huge closet. I mean, there's just huge closets everywhere. Um, okay, and walking in, they have a lot of art, the couple who owns this property. Um, over this way, let's hit the garage really quick. Okay, a nice garage. Um, not huge amounts of, there's actually not any built-ins against this wall. Um, although it has a sink here, and it does have an extra little room over here that's like a workshop. That's where the water heater is. Um, apparently, the gentleman who owns this property um, worked for Train at some point, Train, the air conditioning company. And so he had the house put on five different um, zones. So all of the guest bedrooms have their own temperature control. They can, um, guests can change them. This is the laundry room. This is a nice storage closet in the laundry room. Um, and then we've got sink and it's pretty standard otherwise. Oh, she wanted me to point out there is a bar there. There's not so that I can see a, an ironing board, but there's a dedicated outlet for the fridge. Um, it's another guest bedroom with another patio. It's a nice big one too. Um, and this one has a door to the garage directly. So if you had a guest staying here who wanted to come straight in from the garage, they could. Um, and again, big guest bath. That one has tub and shower, but carpet. Um, the couple who owns the property is moving into an assisted living facility. Tons of art. Um, this is the powder. Got some faux painting. Um, this is the closet for the air handler. Not really any storage in there. This one has storage, though. So it's another bar for coats. And then it's got shelves. Nice and big. And all of the closets have that on light, the sensor. This is the master. And it really takes advantage of the views. Let it adjust, you can see out there. And that's to the backyard. It's got a lot going on here in this bathroom. It's got uh, sinks, vanities, it has two toilet areas. Oh, this one has carpet. Um, it has his and her closets, which actually they're really nice. They're really good, well-sized. And um, this is the his of the closets. So it's big, but not huge. And then this is the hers. Um, okay, it's 
just pretty massive. I mean, it goes, just keeps going back. I kind of love it. Okay. Um, and then right off the closets is this little area um, that is used as a workout room. It's got all these shelves, all this like built-in shelving stuff. But um, and then it has mirrors, and it really only has space for like one machine in here, maybe two. Um, if they they've got the couch or the patio furniture cushions right there because they um, there's wind. So, but it has just a nice rocky view. It's a cute little room. It, you know, lots of room for putting stuff up. Um, and then through here is the tub with view. And then the shower, which the shower I'm not super impressed with. Um, Just a little walk-in shower. Um, and then coming into the main room, it's a great room, kind of an area. Um, has this little alcove for books or knickknacks here, built in. This is the bar. It's got the fridge, several fridges. Um, and it's got the gas fireplace in here. Behind those doors is the TV, and they slide back. So that's all built in and sort of covering. Um, the formal dining room area is behind me next to the bar, and then um, this is the kitchen. So it's got a place for um, bar stool 